All right, so when you look at this hitting session, and the important thing to do when you're looking at hitting sessions of yourself is focus on a couple things. So what I'm trying to do on this forehand is I'm, I'm using that Western grip and I'm bringing it back and I'm trying to bring it back horizontal plane out to my target. So it's a shoulder, so it's chin and then go through. I'm actually finding that you want to keep it all together as one piece. It's stuff you remember, but you forget when you haven't played, you don't have a coach yelling at you. And so that's part of the reason why when you're, when you're having lessons, it's really good to have someone watch you because ideally you want to hit that forehand with your elbow in the middle of your belly and you make impact like this right here. So you're here when you make impact. And so you're making impact here and then you follow through over your shoulder like so. And so what's happening when you're watching the video is I've, I've come across two things. One is to make the racket back early. And for me, that works. Some people like to make the C and have momentum coming forward. I just go racket back early, I think half volley. And then two, I make impact in front, elbow in front, and then come through over the shoulder. And that's all I'm trying to do. Three, you want to keep your knees bent and your body down because you want to have that stable base. Your butt stays down below the level of the ball. So when you strike the ball, you're always going up. <clears throat> and so now what I'm trying to work on for the future is to make my hand move through the ball faster so my ball goes straighter and transfer weight to my hand. Um, the cool thing is it works on high balls and low balls. The key is the racket has to be back. Even when I do return a serve, you will see, as long as I get the racket back and I take a full swing at the ball, I dictate to the ball and the ball doesn't dictate to me. And on the backhand, I'm just trying to make a smooth impact and transfer weight to my hand. I'm not trying to, sh to strike the backhand extremely hard anymore. I forgot. So my backhand has always been not a weakness. I used to roll it back deep, so it's a hard ball to attack. And then the forehand, I would use this forehand to set it up. And then that sort of morphed because I'll go to that slice and come in with my game style. And I would attack with my slice. So this V-Log 3 is to remind yourself, even with that volley too now, the key is keep everything down and maintain the box. What do I mean about maintaining the box? When I volley, I turn the shoulder, but I still I don't go a lot of big short turn because you want the racket to stay. So, so I'm volleying this way, the ball comes, I turn my shoulder, but the racket, the hand stays by my chest and the racket doesn't go back. So maintain the box means boom, boom. So it's box, 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 box. So there's nine boxes when I volley. And I just worry about left or right. And when your ball is high, you go forward. The ball is middle low right here. You go forward. The ball is below your waist. You have to hit up. And when you do the forehand and you're watching it, I can now pick the ball up on the rise. So even when the ball is right there next to me, I'm on the baseline. I can pick the ball up rise, even on backhands. You can see I'm mean, catching the ball on the rise and pushing the ball forward. That works for me because I think it's less tiring. So what we talked about, you want to find a game style that perpetuates your personality. My game revolves around my volley. It's really difficult for me to see the court and go for shots for winners from baseline. So I want my backhand to not be a weakness, the ball in front, transfer weight, bring the ball up. But I want my forehand to set everything else up. I want to strike the forehand, strike the forehand, and go through the ball. I'm having problems with the backhand being a little bit late, and so that's a matter of preparation. I have to get the racket back a little earlier and keep the ball more in front. The forehand is quite where I want it to be. Notice, too, now I think what we have to do with my feet. See how my heels are all touching the ground? I have really quiet feet. And what I mean by that is you don't hear that. When, it, when, you, when, you, when, you're, when, you're, when you see a player with great feet, they're really moving into the shot. They're really light on their feet. I plant really early. It's part of why I don't get tired hitting ground strokes. I don't put a lot of effort. And so you might want to think about the feet when you watch a video of yourself. I focus on my preparation, racket back. Rack it back. I focus on the grip. 
semi semi western more towards western grip and i focus on the follow through coming through the shot over the shoulder over the shoulder and when you watch i'm coming across the shoulder sometimes not really over the shoulder all the time but look did the racket back early strike racket back early strike i'm also finding that it's better for my feet to be like this as opposed to be open so when my feet are like this, I can transfer weight slightly forward. Even if it's only slightly like this, as opposed to being closed, I just have to transfer weight forward. So V-log three, forehand's getting there. You can really see it in this match on the return of serve. Um, as long as I get the racket back early, I strike the ball in front, the ball is solid. I'm really heavy right now. I'm about 88 kilograms. And normally I play about eight, two kilograms. So I'm normally 12 pounds lighter. So we have to work on that for our next uh, development as a player to bring the weight down. The fitness is fine. I can play for a really long time, even though I'm really heavy. The speed, I think I'm still relatively quick, but I'm not as fast as I normally is. And so you want to try to maximize your fitness. I do have issues when my friends at net. I can't strike the ball when my friends at net. So in conclusion, video yourself is very good to maintain your training to see where you're at. Secondly, do small changes. I've just changed my grip and I've changed my preparation and I've gone through the follow through. So there's three aspects I've tried to change. The grip was the easiest. The swing path and the follow through is the hardest. Um, I think when I play, I maintain the grip, but I don't maintain the swing path and the follow through when I play. And so that's going to be something. It's been a six months project. So when you when you want to change a stroke, you need to focus and have a long term plan. Uh, phase three, I guess, of this change will probably have to be more fitness. This is the ideal forehand right there. I set it up. Preparation. Knees bent. One foot in front of the other. I stay down. Rack it back early. And I clean follow through to your target. Wrapping the racket around my shoulder. 